So the landscape of the SEC has changed a lot for a variety of reasons. You know, Nick's not at Alabama anymore. You got teams like Oklahoma and Texas coming in. Just just give me the state of what's long been the toughest conference in college football and kind of how you see this thing moving forward in coming years. Well, I, th- I think it's interesting because you just added two uh, blue bloods of college football in Oklahoma and Texas. And, you know, Oklahoma is used to competing for the conference championship every year. And I thought Coach Venables answered that question uh, excellent yesterday. Like, they're not running from the SEC. They're running to it. And their expectations of their program is not changing. So they're expecting to be a contender every year. I know the state of Texas expects to contend every year. So you're adding two teams that have – championship aspirations each and every year Um, combine that with other schools in our sec rabid fan bases that fire coaches if they're not competing for the championship (laughs) every year so i don't think the competition's going anywhere um i think it's just going to elevate it now i think that the dynamic that has changed is that without divisions um everybody is uniquely running their own race. Like, you know, we don't play Texas this year. We don't play Georgia. We don't play Tennessee. We don't play Florida. We don't play Kentucky. We don't play LSU. Um, And so, you know, we're not having the same crossover games as everybody else. We have a unique schedule that's uniquely ours and we have to play that schedule. And then at the end, we'll see if that gets us in an opportunity to compete for the conference championship or not. Um, I think one of the unique things that's not really been discussed right now is what is the SEC tiebreaker? Because Mm -hmm. in theory, there's three teams that could go undefeated um, in the SEC. And and how are you going to break that tiebreaker? And there's multiple teams that could have multiple losses. And so I I think that's something that that is yet to be finalized that we got to figure out. That sounds a lot like uh, some of the debates that happened pre-playoff when you, you had split national championships. You had everybody, you know, hanging a banner and deciding they're the ones. Your schedule, it is, it is interesting going through it because I'm looking for the same things you just mentioned, which is you don't play Texas this year. You got a stretch of at Alabama on October 26th, a bye, and then home against Oklahoma, which I know you're going one game at a time, but that seems like kind of where some of the separation might take place. And your fans had to be through the roof of something like a, a conference game against Oklahoma at home in November like that's just as storylines go that's a lot of fun yeah I mean I think uh with with x and social media I mean there's everybody's looking forward to uh the November 9th game in fact I was getting drilled about it yesterday at (laughs) SEC media days but as a head coach and as a team you realize that the only way that November 9th game is really significant is if you take care of the games prior to that and you know, there's no chance that this football team is going to overlook a Boston College who beat us in overtime three years ago. There's no chance that we don't have a tremendous amount of respect for going to College Station and trying to win in front of 105,000 screaming fans with with the Yellville and all that different stuff. And Auburn at home, um, I mean, that's that's a really good – I know firsthand how good an Auburn football team is uh, from coaching there. So there's a tremendous amount of respect for what our schedule presents. And people look at it off the cuff and are like, oh, man, you got an easy schedule. I promise you, if you put our <laughs> schedule up against a lot of schools and other conferences, ain't none of them trading for it. Uh, we we have the 29th hardest schedule in the country. Um, and there's a lot of schools at other P4 conferences that wouldn't hold. They would wilt uh, if they put up our schedule. So, you know, I. I it is what it is uh, as far as looking at it, but I have a lot of respect for what we have to do in order to have the success that we want. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.